What was Tom doing at the lake two days after his graduation? Was he swimming? No, fishing. He was fishing. Would you like to go fishing like that in the picture where you're in the boat and you just have the little rod and you try to catch one fish at a time? Would you like to try that? Yes. Ah, well, there you go. There's a future activity you could try in the future. How's little Bella today? You're home. Bye. And you're home again? Yes. Uh, did you have fun at your grandmother's? Uh, yes. Why didn't you just leave your brother there? What? Why didn't you just leave your brother there? No. No? Why not? My brother goes to my grandmother's house too. Yeah, I said, why didn't you leave your brother at your grandmother's for the summer? <laughs> then you'd have peace and quiet. <laughs> Do you have any dogs or cats? No. No dog, no cat. No. Monkey? The chickens. Just the chickens. How many chickens? I don't know. Oh, a lot of chickens, huh? <laughs> All right. Well, this is not your first test, so I'm sure you're going to do fine. It's the same thing. We're going to do part one. We're going to talk. I'm going to ask you questions about pool, pocket, sports, and school. And then, and then we're going to review one of the readings we did in our lesson, which was the true story about the missing ring. And I'll ask you some questions about that for comprehension. So, are you ready? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's move on. All right. So, part one, social interaction. Topic one, sports. Do you like sports? Yes. Why? Aren't they like boring uh, and make you work hard? Yeah, because is interesting they're interesting huh do they make you think what do sports make you think no don't think just just mm -hmm. just go run play okay <laughs> so what are the benefits of playing sports or doing activities right running swimming is an activity badminton football would be a sport what are the what are the benefits of of doing sports and activities uh, uh, because mm -hmm. it makes them um, healthy. Make you healthy? Yeah, for um, sure. How um, does it make you healthy? Okay. <coughs> chicken sneezing? No. Mm. Okay. Sounded like a chicken sneezing. No. no. <laughs> So how can it make you healthy? Uh, play sports. It and for it's what? Eat healthy food. Sports make you eat healthy food? No. <laughs> <laughs> so how how are sports healthy? Don't they hurt? Don't you get sleepy and your muscles hurt? No. No? You're not playing hard enough. So, in what ways can you become healthy? How does it make you healthy? Um, uh, play, um, uh, All right. It makes you healthy by running, getting lots of fresh yeah. air. Well, those are different different activities. I'm talking about the benefits, how it how it's healthy for you. You know, 
keeps the blood flowing in your body, makes you sweat, and keeps you. It can help prevent being sick. Makes you stronger. Okay. What sport or activity would you like to try in the future? Something you've never done. What sport would you like to try someday? Skiing, parachuting, jumping out of a plane, maybe. Hockey. Hockey? You want to try hockey? Yeah. Hockey. <laughs> Why hockey? You know how to skate? Uh, yeah. <laughs> you want to learn how to skate? Skating is an activity, so that could be one. What about skiing? Skiing. Yeah, skiing down a mountain in the snow. No. No? Parachuting, jumping out of a plane? No. Oh, come on. That's fun. No. It's fair. Chicken it's chasing. Dangerous. dangerous. Walking on the streets are dangerous. No. <laughs> no. Swim, swimming with sharks. <laughs> no. You don't want to swim with sharks either. Bungee jumping. Yeah. You live in Vietnam, so I don't think you have much chance of learning how to play hockey. But it's okay to want to try it, sure. But what other sport can you think of that you'd like to try? Have you ever played tennis, maybe? Yes, tennis. Have you played tennis before? No. No? Would you like to try? Yes. Yeah? Or maybe even martial arts, doing activities like yoga and stuff. Maybe you could try something like that in the future. Keep you healthy. Maybe? Yes. Maybe, maybe yes, maybe no. All right, let's go to part two. Bah, not part two, topic two. Hmm. Topic two, school. Do you like your school? Yeah. Yeah, why do you like your school? What is good about it? Do you like to bully the other kids? Because my school has my friends. Um, what is it you like about the school? The, your friends or the teachers or the sports or the classes? What is it you like about going to school? What's the best part? I like to go to school because... I can learning and like meet my friends. Mm, you can learning new things. Learn new things. Yeah. Okay. What about your friends? Uh, I do You what your you what your friends? No. I I like playing with my friends. I like playing with my friends. Yeah. Okay. The social parts. Right. All right. So now this question here, you can tell me what your best scores are, your best class, your subject, or the one you like the most. What is your best subject at school and why? Uh, I, the subject... Um... My best subject is art. Art? Is that yeah. the one you score higher in or the one you like the most? Which one? Like, that, you yeah. like, like. that you like the most. Okay. So why do you like art? Because I can write. Write? Drawing. Draw, yeah. I can, I like drawing. I I like to draw. I can draw. Do you do any painting in your art class? Painting, no. No painting, just drawing. Uh, just painting. Oh, okay, so mostly painting, not drawing. 
Or do you do both? You do drawings and painting? Both. Both. Okay. Anything else? Do you do sculptures or play with clay or anything? Um, no. No, just drawing and painting? Just. Uh... All right. Who is your favorite teacher at the school? Is it your art teacher, your math teacher, science teacher, literature? Who's your favorite teacher there? You're muted. Art teacher. <laughs> so art teacher is your favorite class and your favorite teacher is the art teacher. Yeah. Why? Why is it a he or a she? She is uh, she. Uh, kind. She's kind. Okay. Anything else? Um, what else about her do you like? She's kind. Okay. So she's nice to you. What else? Is she funny? Yeah. Funny too. Pretty. Uh, sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> uh huh. Sometimes not so pretty. Sometimes pretty. Okay. All right. We're gonna go to part two. All right. So we're going to go back to lesson eight and we're going to review about the missing ring to see how much you remember of that story. So I put some questions together here for you. Number one, why did Todd's mother give him a ring? Because it's Todd's graduation day. That's right. It was his graduation day and his mom bought him or had him um, had a ring made for him. That's right. Uh, so what did he graduate from? High school or university? University. It was university. So what happened to the ring? We're, we're right, we read a whole story about the missing ring. So what happened to it? Did it run away? It's... Uh... In, in the in the fish. It was uh, in a fish. So how did the ring get in a fish? Because Todd is uh he goes fishing. So where was he? In the lake. He was on the lake. On the lake. So how do you think the ring got into a fish? What do you think happened? When he was at the lake. The ring is falling, falling into the lake. Yeah, somehow the ring must have fallen into the lake. And the fish thought it was a little fish or something. Because it was all shiny and silvery. And oh, that was it. The end of the ring. <laughs> well, because the lures, if you remember some of the lessons, we had lures. The little shiny things with hooks on it that fishermen use to try to catch fish. Some of them are shiny, right? Because some fish have us, like if you look at minnows, the light reflects off them and they're kind of shiny a little bit. So often a fish will see something small and shiny moving around in the water. The fish will think it's food and eat it. It's normal. Hmm. So why did Tom call the police? Why did Tom call the police? Because he can't, he can't uh, find, find his ring. Yeah. It's, I don't know so much now, but before, for sure, it used to be common. If people found things of value, they would turn it into the police station and people would call to see if, if they had found the ring. So he was hoping, praying that maybe <laughs> someone brought it to the police station or gave it to the police. Looking for his ring, trying what he could. You already answered this, but I'm going to ask it anyway. What was Tom doing at the lake two days after his graduation? Was he swimming? No, fishing. He was fishing. 
<laughs> Would you like to go fishing like that in the picture where you're in the boat and you just have the little rod and try to catch one fish at a time? Uh, Would you like to try that? Yes. Ah, well, there you go. There's a future activity you could try in the future. It's fun. It's relaxing. So what was written on the ring? Uh, in writing, uh, yeah. Henderson, the university and the date. The university name. and the date and what else was on name. the ring? Name. And his name, yeah. So during this time, did Todd's mother know he lost the ring? No. No? Are you sure? Uh, no. No, I'm not sure. Yeah, I remember in the story, Tom's in the bedroom and his mom comes in. What does his mom say to Todd? What? What did you do What did mom ask? What did mom ask Todd when she walked into his room? What are you doing, Todd? What are you doing, Todd? What did he say? I'm looking for my ring. I can't find it. Yeah, so you think his mom knew he lost the ring? Uh -huh. Yeah. She, he already said he can't find it. It's like, oh, no, oh, no. But he was worried about telling her that he thought he'd lost it in the, in the lake. I don't know if she he told her that. <laughs> All right. So at the end of the story, he got his ring back. Where was Todd's ring found? In, in the fish. It was in a fish. That's right. Did Todd catch the fish and he found his ring? No. No? Somebody else? Someone else caught the fish? Yes. Okay. So how did Todd get his ring back? Uh. Uh, the people mm -hmm. uh, has the ring. Mm -hmm. uh, give it to the dog. Give it to the dog. No, the dog. dog. How did Todd get the ring back? The people who found the ring, yes. Who went fishing and caught the fish and found the ring in the fish. How did they find Todd? Uh, on the internet. Yeah, they, they had the name and the university on the ring. So it was probably quite easy trying to find them. And they both went fishing in the same lake. So they're both probably from the same town or city. So they, the people who found the ring probably know who the, who, what university was on the ring too. That's possible. Because they were in the same lake. Yeah. So how long did it take for Todd to get his ring back? Uh, That's the bonus question. Uh, the next year? What? The next year? He lost his ring this year. Next year he found it? No. No? How long? Or if I said it another way, the ring was lost for how long? Uh, uh, or, uh, <laughs> Math is not your favorite subject. <laughs> 21 years. 21 years that's right he lost the ring in 1993 and then he found he got the ring back someone found it for him in 2014 21 years later it's a pretty amazing story yeah yeah did you ever lose anything important to you uh, i don't remember no remember uh -huh. Did you ever lose a bracelet or a bracelet, a ne necklace or a bracelet yeah. or a ring maybe? No? No. Did you ever get lost? Yes. 
Yeah. Where? In the mall? Uh, where, where did you get lost? In, in Monzong. In Monzong. Oh, in a town somewhere. Okay. Yeah. Did you ever lose your... What? 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 In my room. <laughs> you got lost in your room? Uh-huh. Or in the hotel? Uh, I learned in my room. Uh, mm, hard and, to hear and, you sometimes. It's not so clear. And I don't... You didn't know where your room was? Uh, no. That happens. Did you ever lose your brother? No. No. Did you ever lose a chicken? <laughs> no. Yeah. No, lo- no losing chickens, huh? Okay. We're all done. You did good. You did really good. We got to uh, work on the sound and everything there, but it was good. Um, and your mic, sometimes it's a little bit muffled, a bit hard to hear what you're saying. I don't know if you've changed. Does your headset have a microphone on it? Yes. Okay, well, maybe we have to try that next time. What is the I But what? It's broken? Uh, yes. <laughs> okay, that don't help. All right, enjoy the rest of your week. I'll see you in reading on the weekend. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.